Hey guys, Solana is pumping. I have finally time to make a video. Let's stop wasting time. Yes, we are in a different environment. Of course, Solana is pumping when I'm traveling. Let's start this video. But either way, before I start the video, as always, please do me a huge favor. Please like, comment below, check out my links in the description. And of course, the most important thing, and especially in the next couple months, subscribe as we are heading into the bull market. All right, first things first, before we get to the technicals, before we get to Solana, I just want to say one thing. I want to say congratulations for the people that stuck around, survived the bear market, survived the time where everybody was uncertain, everybody left the market, and especially survived Solana's huge sentiment change, okay? I was there, the data was not matching the sentiment uh, back then. The data simply was amazing for Solana, just the sentiment didn't match. So congratulations to you and actually also congratulations to me solana was one of my best trades so far and one of my best calls in my personal portfolio so many people keep telling me mike you were wrong about the secondary scare and about the dip you thought is going to happen guys i have a solana position and i had a solana position from the lows and all i'm going to say is that solana grew by one digit here just simply overnight for me so if it was three digits it's now four digits if it's four if it was four digits it's not five digits so one digit is grew by one digit so I'm, I'm doing fine i have my solana position the secondary scare scenario was simply one way to hedge because secondary scares or uh, corrections always happen you can look at all the cycles secondary scares happen so not planning for one would have been gambling so not planning for one would have been just guessing and just hoping that hoping for the best obviously that best scenario played out and as you can see here, we had, in fact, weekly candles about, about this level, which I said. And actually, as I said in my last video, we straight teleported to that $50 range. So, and we were even higher. So, super bullish price action. Of course, it would be dumb to ignore that bullish price action right now. In my opinion, mostly it's driven by the ETF news. Okay, so Bitcoin ETF and now Ethereum ETF are making people fall into the market. Is this scenario down here out of the window completely? I know most people will kill me for that. In my opinion, no, it's not. Okay, so how can this happen? This scenario down here. How can we have another correction? What be, what would be the reasons? Simply a recession or a recessionary scale. Okay, and you have to keep in mind if you look at rate cuts. We didn't have any rate cuts yet. Usually, if we have rate cuts, the first rate cut usually ends in a correction in the entire market, even in traditional stocks, etc. So. Yes, it's still possible, but it would be dumb right now to ignore this bullish price action on Solana. But the most important thing right now is two scenarios. If you have a Solana position and you're happy with that position, currently, of course, I would not be buying. Okay, this is way too high for me, especially if I was DCAing down here. And especially on the sentiment currently, we're just overextended. Everyone is bullish. Yes, it can go higher. It's not smart to follow or to chase a pump. Okay, so right now, I'm currently not buying. If you don't have a Solana position at all, of course, it cannot be wrong to slowly start DCAing. Why? Because this scenario down here can be invalidated and currently it looks like it's actually being invalidated. Even if we retest some of those lows here in January, February, it would not be bad to slowly start dabbling into altcoins here, slowly, not all at once, over the next couple months. Why? Even if you buy right now $55, of course, in the short term, it seems like a huge number, especially if we have been down here at 13, even $8 levels. But in the long term, even if you look at the Vanek price prediction with $3,000 here, the bullish price prediction, $55 or $30 will not matter. In the short term, of course, it will matter. Why? Because if we dip down, you will experience some pain, you will, you will experience some regret. And in the short term, it can be a bumpy road if you're not experienced enough, you will just simply sell when you go lower, then the price pumps back higher, you buy back higher. So, so if you don't have a position, it's not stupid to slowly start this saying, simply because this scenario right now in the short term is invalidated and there is a huge risk of you just being left behind if this cycle here plays out completely differently with no secondary skip. In conclusion, guys, you have to name it how it is. Solana is showing some tremendous strength and Solana proved that it survived the bear market, it survived all this FTX drama, and more importantly, Solana is slowly but surely chipping away of ETH's market cap. Of course, everybody's speaking about ETH killers, and nobody really takes that as a serious threat. But sooner or later, an actual ETH killer 
can happen. And currently, I think Solana is actually the one that has the highest chances of that. So I think Solana will be great. And my price prediction, it of course, still stands here. Solana will hit minimum three digits here in the next bull market. And I'm very optimistic, of course, price prediction of around $1,000 a year in the next couple of years. So buying right now is not a bad idea. My personal hunch, I personally still think we will see a secondary scare simply because it always happened. And usually when everybody's bullish and most people start slowly talking about crypto again, this is usually when the time of a correction is around. So this is my personal hunch. Of course, it's not financial advice. Again, I'm super bullish on Solana. Congratulations on all my followers. One of my best trades so far actually funded this trip here partially. So don't get it twisted. Let me know your thoughts below. Are you bullish? Are you bearish? What's your opinion on all that? And the most important thing is be bullish on yourself. As always, do your own research. And the most important thing is Put the pass on ice and look at that, we nice. Put the pass on ice and look at that.